Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to resolve if your HP laptop or desktop computer has no sound. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. First thing I recommend, make sure that your speakers are turned on. So if you have external speakers, make sure that they are turned on and powered up. And make sure your sound icon down your system tray is turned up as well. So make sure you have audio down there. Something I also recommend doing would be to open up the search menu and type in troubleshoot, best match, or come back with troubleshoot settings. Go ahead and open that up. And on the right side, underneath options, you want to select other troubleshooters. And then underneath most frequent, select the playing audio troubleshooter and run that. And then you want to go ahead and follow along with any prompts that it suggests here to proceed with. So go ahead and just follow along with any set prompts. And then hopefully, again, that should be able to resolve the problem. And then finally, you may also want to consider if you're using external speakers, try plugging them into a different port. So if you have like a plug and play speakers, make sure you try plugging them into a different USB selection. And if you have different speakers, try swapping them out with a different pair and see if that helps fix the problem as well. So one final thing we can do here as well, if you open up the search menu, type in control panel, best match, or come back with control panel, go ahead and open that up. Say your view by the large icons, and then you want to select sound. So underneath the playback tab, right click on the speaker device output, and select where it says test, and see if it is able to hear anything, and select properties, select the advanced tab, and where it says exclusive mode, check mark where it says allow applications to take exclusive control of this device and give exclusive mode applications priority. And then also you want to go underneath levels, make sure that is turned up here as well. And then you would select OK. If you select the configure button, you can go ahead and actually set up your speaker configuration here as well and then test your device once more. So pretty straightforward process here, guys. I hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.